Let's uh, get over uh, to commodities. Uh, we've seen a broad rebound in uh, Como so far this year. Uh, take a look at uh, one example is Malaysian palm oil up 46% and more uh, year to date, uh, 2775 uh, there. Despite the run up, though, our next guest says he is still bullish on the sector. Nirgudan Tiruchelvam is equities analyst at RBS. He joins us live here on set at our Asia headquarters. And staying with us live out of Hong Kong is our guest host, Bob Kessler, CEO of the Kessler uh, Companies. Both of you, uh, gents, good to see you. And, uh, 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 in terms of uh, Nagunam, uh, welcome back. It's, uh, it's been you. a while. And uh, congratulations in order, I hear. Thank you very much. You're, you're a father now. Two yes. boys, twins. I know. I've doubled the size of the family in one go. Excellent. <laughs> Productive. Very uh, very good. Listen, let's get right down to business. i got to ask you here. Uh, well, we've been talking all morning, the uh, North Korea's uh, latest uh, test, underground test, first in about three years or so. Does it matter to you at all? Actually, there are no immediate ramifications of the North Korean nuclear test mm -hmm. on soft commodities, mm -hmm. uh, but it may heighten global tension. However, I don't see any uh, real impact on the commodities prices because North Korea is neither a producer nor a consumer of these commodities. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, if it does affect the security situation, even if it, even if it does increase risk? It could, but North Korea has been uh, suspected of uh, carrying out these tests in the past, mm -hmm. and uh, for that reason, I don't think it will make much of a difference. Okay, so we've seen it before. We'll get over it, yes. what you're saying, huh? Yes. Uh, interesting stuff. Okay, let's get right down to uh, commodities, uh, then. How far, uh, uh, how far more do we have to go, do you think? Well, uh, commodity prices can actually move counter-cyclically to equities. It's possible for equities to suffer, as they did uh, during the Great Depression and during the 70s, and for uh, commodities to go up in price. So okay. uh, we are in a period where there is historical underinvestment in commodities, including soft commodities. So we're actually bullish on a number of soft commodities, such as palm oil and soybeans. Okay, so this is on the supply side there, even if demand is, That's is, right. is really soft. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. So there are lots of factors affecting supply. Uh, there is a shortage of soybean production because of the drought in Argentina. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have palm oil uh, production faltering in Malaysia and Indonesia uh, because of pro poor yields and lower use of fertilizer. Uh, so all these factors mean that it's possible for uh, commodity prices to rise even further, and we're optimistic on the prices of these commodities. Interesting, huh, Karen? Yes. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to jump here on soybeans. We certainly saw it rise on the back of higher crude prices because it you know, really is used in the making of ethanol as well and, and just climbing along with the demand for energy stocks. But we did see China fears start to creep in here and that there might be some price sensitive element if the price rises too much. What are your thoughts on that? I think uh, the Chinese market is clearly showing that the demand for these commodities is resilient. Uh, we may see a slowing down of economic growth in China. However, the demand for these commodities uh, seems to be resistant to any major economic slowdown because these are staple commodities. It's used for cooking oil. It's used for the basic uh, uh, food consumption in these societies. And food consumption is rising given that we have this secular trend of higher disposable income in both China and India. All right, uh, Nirguna, we've got to go just out of time. Fantastic having you on. Uh, Thank you, Good Martin. to see you again. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks for dropping by. Nirguna and uh, uh, Tiro Shelbom, uh, their equities analyst uh, for commodities at RBS. Now